Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Legacy Evolution Axle Grease Figure. But in all honesty, what I'm just going to do is use the tutorial video I did on the original owner of the mould. And I've got some good comments regarding that, so it will help you out. It's exactly the same transformation process, just obviously with a different deco and a slight retool. But the transformation process is exactly the same. So hopefully this tutorial will, in fact, help you out. Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Legacy Evolution Scrap Hook figure. Just a reminder, it is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, it is completely possible to transform this guy without pulling him apart. I'm going to do my best to do that, but he does tend to pop apart with all the goodwill and intention. But let's have a go. So what we're going to start off with then is if you open up the back part here like so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to just pull these arms away ever so slightly with the chest. So this is all stuck together. So you can see the orange and the brown tabs there. See the arms out already. I'm just going to bring it forward and I am going to locate that back in there and just pull it out just for now. This means you can now rotate the head right the way around and then just line all of this up like so. Right, what we'll do then, we're going to take the legs and the waist, we're going to rotate them 180 degrees and we're going to bring this right down. And by rotating it 180 degrees, the head will fit snugly against there. These are now going to be the front of the vehicle. So fold the legs up and you can see you've got some giant tabs either side, which will fit in this cutout there and indeed the tabs at the front. So what you can do is we'll clip these together clip these together and then you can bring this around and then you can slot this back as well like that so the front of the car is pretty much done this is a little bit more difficult um and again it is honestly it's much easier if you take the arms off which i probably will end up doing because i can imagine they're going to pop off anyway so you can already sort of tell if we turn this here and if we turn how this is going to pretty much line up so all i'm doing is i'm bringing these down ready to line up you can close these parts of the doors if you want there's a tab there and a cutout there i'm going to keep mine open just for now because hopefully it'll help you see what i'm looking to do so what we've got here is we've got a tab here a couple of tabs actually and tabs on the forearms what we need to do is we need to turn the arms this way around so rotating there up at the bicep so this is at the top and then we're going to turn the fists I think it's this way around first i'll know in two seconds if it's not so i'm going to do the same here rotate it so you've got the tabs on the top and the same with the fist what we're looking to do is these are going to come in at a slight angle and you can see yeah i think that's it actually and these are also going to tab together here so if you've got the arms intact and they've stayed on this should then clip into place and do you know what? There you go, I've made that. Oh, I was gonna say, probably look much easier than it is, but as soon as I tried to push it in, this bit has come off here, but it's not too detrimental because all we're gonna do is just collapse this in. You can see that orange tab didn't go in there. Once that tab is in there, and the other one missed as well, so I'm just gonna line this up there. There we go. That will fit into there. Oh, it won't and then we're gonna clip that back in. So there you go. It actually wasn't that difficult, even with them on. Fold this down and under, and then close these over as well. Remember, you're looking for them tabs underneath, and then you can see where that is gonna line up. So then you'd start to add all your pieces to him. So that is, of course, the alternate mode. Oh, that just popped out as well. And then if we're gonna transform him back, same thing, let's carefully detach this. Um, and again, be prepared for the arms to pop off as we separate this. Fold these out of the way. Um, literally, I'm going to bring these around here like so. I'm going to separate the doors. Oh, by separating the doors. This cricks and cracks a lot. And rest assured, it isn't because you're breaking it. It's just what it does. So I'm just going to lift this out of the way. Bring the legs down. Rotate these 180 degrees. Separate there. And then, of course, remember, these are going to be the feet. So you can just detach this ever so slightly from the front slide it forward fold it over same again slide it forward and fold it over there's the legs done now let's sort this out so fold the brown parts out of the way so you might need to move the arms turn them like so and then fold these brown bits just out of the way just for now they will go out of the way you won't break it so rotate there which is going to be the shoulder and then fold this just out of the way, my arms fell off again, but okay. 
let's take the head bring this out and of course we know this is going to be the back so if you want to you can close this up right now right what's going to happen is as we bring the chest piece up we need to keep the silver or the gray part down and then the brown part there will fit in snugly over the top and indeed keep that in place then you can of course take the arm you can reattach it there then what you need to do is correct the orientation at the bicep turn it around there then correct the fist as well same with this correct the orientation at the bicep and correct the fist and then again you can attach all of your pieces if you want to